The solution for this example, we need to start at the bottom here. So we know we need to sell 11,480. We've got the process 3 here, so we know that sold must be that number. And I know because of the use of my negatives, I want to say equals minus whatever that is. I also know that I need to have a closing balance here of 250. So I'm going to say equals that cell there and put my dollar signs on the B. So, so far, I know that's what it needs to look like. However, we do know we're going to lose 15% during the process. Now, you need to be careful here because if you try and link this to one of these numbers, you're going to create a circular reference. So what we can do is use some maths to determine if the losses is 15%, what does the number need to be so that 15% results in the split. So you'll see here from previous process, I'm going to create a formula. I'm going to say equals, open bracket, how much do we need to sell minus how much must be left over plus what was the opening balance? Okay, and then I'm going to divide it by one minus whatever our losses are, and I put a dollar dollar signs on the B again. So you'll see that says thirteen thousand eight hundred. It's currently got the wrong sign. I don't want that sign, so I'm just going to put a negative sign there. So it's suggesting that thirteen thousand eight hundred is the correct number. Let's just check. So I'm going to say equals, the losses are going to be whatever we got from the previous process, multiplied, by whatever our loss factor is, the B, and I want it to be a negative. So it's suggesting that it's 2070. When I highlight those three, notice it comes to 250. So that seems to work out. It's always useful just to check it. So I'm going to copy it across. And let's just take a random check here. So I'm going to take this one here. When I add up those, it comes to 250. So it looks like it works. Now all we need to do is repeat that process. So transfer to the next process. We can actually, if we've set it up correctly, we should be able to copy the closing balance. Let's see if it works. It seems to have worked. And I should be able to copy all of these, put them here, transfer to the next process. As you'll see, we know that that's the number we've calculated. So over here, I'm going to go equals minus whatever's down there, copy it across. Okay, again, we have our numbers. Let's just see if we add these up, they come to 500. And so we should be able to repeat it over here. Again, depending if our structure has been set up correctly. So let's just check. That's coming to 2,500. Let's do a spot check here, 2,500. And it's always useful just to check that what we're looking at or what the formula is looking at it looks like it's correct Let's see that okay perfect so that seems to indicate that in order to be able to sell this much we need to start with that much